Good evening, everyone. So, tonight's look will be one thing called Yuruki. And I got this from No Trick Pony. He gave it to me. That's the keyway. Come on, camera, please focus. That's the keyway. You can see the marking. So, Yuruki. I will try to pick it first and then I will show you something interesting about this lock and how is it possible to pick. That's the key bidding. So, setting the key aside. Um, maybe I can show you that it works. Hold on one second. I will just switch to automatic focus of the body of the camera. So, let's plant it up. Real quick and see if I can do the same with the picking. So I will use top of the keyway tension on this thing because there's plenty of room on the top. Even even though that the uh, bitting it looks awful, there's plenty of room to maneuver this thing. So this will keep out of the camera, and we go to the back and we start with the clicks. So this is pin five. So five pin up. Then we have nothing on four. Pin three, however, gives a counter rotation because it's pull. Pin two gives a very good counter rotation. Click. And then we have pin one. Give a click. Let's go and check the back pins. That's pin number. Hmm, I think number four gave us a little bit. Nothing. So two, one, let's have a look on one. The two, no, one is picked. Two. Let's go to the back again, have a look. Well, on that I said that the keyway is not that bad, I'm actually pushing mostly against the keyway just now, I guess. So that's what's bothering me. One thing that you might not know for some of the locks is if you believe that you have picked the lock, maybe you have a very deep false set and you say that's not possible to be a false set, but still it's not picked. Just using your pick, go to the back and push the actuator. It usually releases the lock. And here we go, open, it was number three. Okay, um, what's interesting about this lock? And one thing uh, about this Euro key thingy. It's only possible to pick it the normal way if it is uh, upside down. So this is a Euro cylinder, so this is upside down of the lock. If it is the normal way, the way, then the way that it should be installed, it won't be able, it won't be possible to pick. And I will show you immediately why. If you have a close look at the key here, come on camera, please focus. If you see here on this pin, this one, this little pin, this thing is magnetic. So basically there is a small magnet here. You can see, so there is a small magnet that actually pulls the pin towards, there is no spring on number 4 here. So it needs to push, uh, you need to, well, get, you need to magnetize the magnet and then it will open. But uh, since there is no spring, I'm cheating, let's say, I'm using gravity as a helper. And this way, because the pins fall down, so I just need to lift it a little bit. And this opens the lock. Anyway, very interesting lock. Uh, I'm really grateful for Ulrich that he gave it to me so that I can play with it. I do find it fascinating. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Keep it legal. See you in the next video.